many times I've gotten the comment, well, you don't look like a scientist when I tell people that I'm a scientist. I'm really proud to say that I celebrate my individuality as a Black woman within the dominant cultures of STEM, and I come as my full and unapologetic self. It's just me in front of a pink wall talking about antibodies and how your immune system works and how vaccines are made and people love it. I think that song's gotten about 5 million views now. There's such a focus on survival and just, you know, getting a basic education in a low income school situation that a lot of the times, um, perhaps the availability for resources to do different things in science or STEM as a whole are limited. I think it's so important for us to find ways to engage low-income students or students even from underrepresented backgrounds. What I want people to know is that Black scientists have existed today. They've existed in the past for centuries, right? Although well into the past, maybe they weren't considered formal scientists. There was a slave called Onesimus way back, just hundreds of years ago, who was one of the main contributors to our knowledge today of vaccines. The information that he brought over from his African background helped us to develop vaccinations here in America. And so Black people, African Americans in science, we have a history, not just in America, but all over the world. I think that we are overdue for the amplification of Black voices in science and Black representation in science. And I feel as though Many Black scientists today are doing everything that they can to help raise the next generation of Black scientists and make them feel welcome and prepare them for the field. I think that a lot of the barriers that are present for underrepresented or marginalized people trying to enter into STEM fields, it comes from perhaps a sense that we sometimes feel pressured to fit into a stereotype that we may not even subscribe to, right? Um, we feel or maybe are expected to do code switching, right? And speak in a way that we maybe wouldn't normally speak in just to make people comfortable or dress a certain way for the same reasons or um, stray away from issues and topics that we care about and that are um, impacting our communities. Having somebody who looks like you doing something that you're interested in or excited about really can signal to somebody that they belong. They have a space in science and that it's possible for them to also be a scientist. You don't have to look a certain way, talk a certain way to join in the science fun. If you like what, what you're hearing about and want to learn more, come on, like everybody's welcome.